So what happened with AMC stock? Why is it losing its momentum? Why is it down on the day? What's going on team? It's Ricky with TechBud Solutions. I want to kind of uh, answer a couple of questions. There's people in, in yesterday's video and I get it. Um, uh, people, especially the, the apes or whatever it is that they call themselves, the people that hold AMC and GME that you know will not sell, right? Uh, to each their own. One thing that I would encourage you to do just so you understand that I'm not very one-sided um, is of course I view this to be as a high risk, high reward type of play. I view AMC holders uh, to be somewhat insane. But at the end of the day, if this plays out the way that you guys say it does uh, or you plan to, um, it's insanity that tends to pay off uh, in the largest return, right? So I wish you guys nothing but the best. The reason I make my videos every single day I don't short AMC. I mean, you can look at AMC. I literally do not do not have the option to short it. My thing is, if I see a stock, ignore your movement. I'm, I'm not a part of it, right? So you need to understand that. If I see a stock that's super bearish and has been selling off for the past year, that's what it has been doing. You need to understand that, right? It's been selling off for the past year. It has a nice rally. This is what we're talking about. These rallies never last based off of the history. Never, not once. They always get, they always come back down for whatever the reason might be, but they always come back down. So with that being said, what do you think I'm going to say or encourage beginner traders to do? I don't care about your movement. Just like you shouldn't care about my intention, right? My intention is to day trade and, and that's it. We, we all can have different intentions and understand, you know, you don't have to be against me. I don't have to be against you. It's not about that. With that being said, if I see that a stock nine out of 10 times sells off after a push, what do you think I'm going to think is going to happen the 10th time? It's patterns tend to repeat themselves. You're right. They don't always have to, but they always have. It is, it is a fact that AMC always sells back off. When I made yesterday's video, I was encouraging people to look out for that resistance level at $30. That hey, AMC has had a run of being up over 160% in the past week and a half. It's been an amazing run. All great things come to an end for one point or another with these meme stocks. It, it's, it's a fact based off of its history. People began to comment, why are you not gonna talk about how the hedge funds halted AMC. And I think that's kind of like where I get rubbed the wrong way, where these people that have the loudest mouths in the comment section are true beginners. They literally know nothing but holding AMC. And if you have any common sense when it comes down to trading in the market, you understand that those are circuit breakers. They're not done by funds. They're not done by trading platforms. They're done by the exchanges, a completely neutral, you know, exchange where anytime who cares about your AMC stock? Anytime, any stock, it doesn't matter what it is. This has happened with Tesla if it surges. This has happened with lower cap stocks if they surge. It's a rule. Look it up. Google it. Where exchanges have to implement these circuit breakers, also known as curbs, where they halt the stock before it resumes trading to kind of allow it to chill out. This happens anytime that it moves, uh, usually anywhere from around 10% within a very short period of time. So if there's a 10% movement within a, a five to 10 minute movement, that is where those circuit breakers get put in place. You are correct in the sense that that circuit breaker, when that halt happened, it did stop that momentum. There's no question about that. But that's just how the exchanges work. The thing that I don't like about AMC traders is that you always think that everything is against you. It's like, why not take time to inform yourself how the market actually works? That's the part it's like, it's always that like victim mindset. Oh my God, it's the hedge funds that are doing this. It's Melvin Capital, all this like nonsense. It's like, no, it is a rule that that is put in place anytime that there's that kind of volatility. It's literally a rule for anything. If Tesla shoots up more than 10% within a short period of time, they will halt it. That's the whole purpose of it. If it drops more than 10% within a short period of time, they will halt it to allow it to chill out, right? To, to manage and mitigate that volatility. It's a rule. So with that being said, 
AMC is solely based off of momentum. And I think that halt yesterday is a perfect example. If you want to use that as an excuse for why the the market's against you, then so be it. You can come up with any excuse to justify your lack of success. But you need to understand one thing. AMC, based off of yesterday's performance and every other time that there's been any form of halt, is solely based off of momentum. And the more that you guys are aware of this, the better you can do. With that being said, it doesn't have that momentum as of right now. It doesn't mean that it can't continue to rally. As of right now, it is trading sideways and or actually selling off. It's down 7% on the day. I'm not happy about it. I don't short AMC. I can't short AMC. Look, my buy and sell. I, it's, not, it's not about me, right? It's about the beginner traders. A price point that I want you guys to be aware of is $26. $26.50, really just $26.00. We've had a nice rally with AMC. We're overbought. If AMC not only loses its momentum as it's already showing signs of, but begins to trade below the four hour EMA, be ready for a pullback. Be ready for a decent pullback. 7% is the least of your worries. The downside is about 50%. It's not that you should be scared. It's that it's time to prepare in advance. If it finds its support here, that's even better for all of you AMC holders. That's a step in the right direction. That is higher lows. Again, I want I want to try to be neutral in the sense that you guys need to stop commenting ridiculous excuses for your lack of success. It's like you're choosing to take advantage of this high risk, high reward opportunity. Understand that. There's two sides to every opportunity. Stop making excuses for it. As of right now, we're at the EMA line. If we break below, be ready for a decent retracement, probably back to $18, maybe even back to 15. If we hold above the EMA and that momentum continues, I don't know how they're going to do it, but if all of you AMC apes or whatever the case might be, band together, you hold that support, enough buying pressure comes around, it picks it back up, be ready, right? Higher lows is a really good sign for any any trading setup, especially AMC. AMC is something like I've never seen before, kind of like GME, where the momentum when it takes off is unlike any other. Congratulations with that. But understand that any opportunity comes at some form of risk. So if you're going to talk about how much money you could potentially make, you need to take into consideration and have the conversation about how much downside risk there is. I wanted to explain to you guys what happened yesterday with that circuit breaker, with that halt. It's not that the market's against you. It's that that is a common known rule. And your lack of understanding of that is just a direct representation of your lack of understanding of how the market works. And it comes with the territory. No one knows everything as they're just getting started. But it takes time to make progress. And that's all I want for you guys, to actually take time and understand why and not just make an excuse on why you continue to fail. You get what I mean? So I really do appreciate you guys' time. I wanted to update you guys on oil. Oil is up. Overall markets are down. Literally everything is up. We got SQQQ, SPXS, uh, SDAO. That means that all three major exchanges are down on the day. So that's only adding to that selling pressure with uh, or for AMC. So please be aware of that, that it's not just AMC that's selling off today. It's the overall market, and I want you to be aware of that. I hope that AMC plays out in your favor. I, I really do. But my job is not to be hopeful. My job is to look out for the beginner trader, right? To understand and manage that risk. So I hope that you guys can understand that. If you want to have a conversation, I'm definitely open to this conversation, uh, especially if you're an absolute beginner. I have a free Discord group. It's the first link in the description, and you can direct message me. You can, you know, um, converse with thousands of other traders all over the world, especially if you're tired of all of those Reddit just spam group chats, and you actually want to have an actual conversation with people that understand the market. First link in the description, it's our free Discord. You're welcome to join. And if you want to be able to watch me trade live every day and access to everything it is that Learn Plan Profit gets you access to, that's that second link down below. This is the exclusive group that gets to watch me trade live every morning. They get access to the A to Z video lesson library, and then they get access to a private Discord group chat where, again, the quality of information is just that much greater. I really hope that. You not only look out for yourself, but your future self and the steps that you take as AMC begins to 
sell off or hopefully set up for an overall reversal. Like always, I hope that I earned your thumbs up. Please consider subscribing. And like always, let's make sure that we end the year on a green note. Take it easy, team.